video because <laughs> that's just easy content I'm gonna be doing a like a drugstore video um, something just relaxing something to kind of get us a little bit calmer and um, for some reason makeup calms me down I chose a different like filming setup and I'm just really chill and just you know relaxed vibes so I'm going to be doing that. Um, I apologize in advance, I have like a sinus situation and allergies going on, so if I sound off, that is why. Also, that is why I just haven't left my house, because we don't want to be too careless, especially since nothing's open anyway, so yeah. But I find that getting ready is still something important and something that we should continue to do just because it helps you kind of stay on a routine sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna do this drugstore look. Um, my skin is not thriving right now. There are a couple of things that aren't drugstore but they're just staples in my beauty routine but they can be duped from the drugstore no matter what. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So to start off the look, I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. Uh, medium coverage foundation. It is in the color light ivory with warm yellow undertones. Since it's spring, I kinda wanna do like a really spring-esque situation, but we'll see. I'm only gonna use the brush to kind of apply it and I bought myself a new sponge and it came in the mail so we're excited it's a real technique sponge so it is from the drugstore and the real technique works just as well as a beauty blender As you guys can tell, I am going to need a little bit extra coverage under my eyes because, like I said, I'm going through some allergies and some sinus things, so. ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer. Or concealer. I am going to use the beauty blender, but I'm not going to use it the whole time. Just to provide a little bit more coverage on these certain areas. I know I haven't blended that out yet, but I'm going to use my brush to cover up my under eye. A little bit better. Next thing that I think I'm gonna move on to is doing my eyebrows. And for that, I'm just gonna use the Instant Lift Brow Pencil by e.l.f., which, drugstore. Um, if you guys notice, I did shave off half of my eyebrows. I we all make mistakes, right? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in. I'm probably not gonna show you guys too much just because I'm still learning myself, but. After I do my eyebrows, I would typically go in with like a translucent powder, but 
I've been having very dry skin recently and I don't want to accentuate that by adding powder to it because even like liquid foundation and concealer is looking a little bit off because I am so dry um, but if you guys are in the market for a drugstore translucent powder I would definitely recommend the elf HD powder this is in the sheer shade it just goes on it's very translucent you can't see it I think I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I think for that I'm gonna use this elf palette I got it at Target I think it was like $16 and I don't remember how many shades this is supposed to have, but it comes with quite a few shades, as you guys can see. I zoomed you guys in a little bit just so that you guys could see the eye area a little bit better. But uh, please do forgive me for the strange dry patches. Like I said, my skin is really going through it and I haven't been able to get my moisturizer. So. I'm gonna use a little bit of my e.l.f. sheer eye primer. I've used this in a couple videos and I know I said I didn't really like it but it's the only primer we have right now so we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna go for a nice gold yellowy look with some orange in it. What color do I want to use? I think I'm gonna go this thing doesn't have names, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. Super cute shade. a little weird right now but we're gonna fix it don't worry and I'm gonna go in with this color right here just to really put it into the crease and kind of help both the colors blend together it's so weird that color doesn't even have much pigment pigment color to it I'm gonna go back in with another yellow. I'm gonna go use this one and I'm gonna use like a flat shader brush to see if that helps like the pigment kind of come out, at least on my lid, um, a little bit better. So I'm just gonna put that right onto the lid to have a little more yellow. That is pretty much the eye look, but I'm going to go in with um, this e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow and it's in 24K gold. And I'm going to just really put that onto where we applied the yellow. I do like these liquid eyeshadows, I find that they are pretty good. And they do what you would expect a liquid glitter eyeshadow to do. the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Liquid Liner. Excuse me. <laughs> and it works really well. Anyway, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. I'm going to put that on both my top and bottom lashes. some mascara on um, I'm a 
moving on to our bronzer. I do want a nice bronzy look, so I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Sun Kissed. I think it's what it's called, and it's the primer infused bronzer. I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush. So once that is on, we're all good. I don't do a very strong contour anymore, so we're just gonna go right in with our highlighter. I'm gonna use this Profusion highlighting palette with the color Graceful. I bought this a really long time ago on Black Friday at Target. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm gonna be using the Morphe and Honeymoon, which I always use, and that's not technically drugstore, but it is quite affordable. I paid like $4 for mine. You can always find like a 10% off code. Um, so I'm gonna use that, and then over the top, I'm actually going to be putting on this Profusion in matte cocoa. Again, I bought this at the same time that I bought the highlighting palette, so it's been a while, but it's still good, so I'm not gonna waste it. Um, so, I'm gonna line my lips. I do find with this lip good lip is that it is super runny. I'm gonna go and fix that and then I'll be right back. So that is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.